Well, 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 hello everyone. Good evening. As we continue with our little foundation stream. And let's try if we can get some houses on the mainland this time. Hello, Roadhog. Hello, Kevin. I hope all is well. How are you two doing? I'm fine. Had a good day. Had a good last few days, actually. And now we are a very busy... Uh, Getting the stream up and running. And there's a new villager that wants to join us. That's very nice. So let's accept. There we are. We have five villagers without a job. So we should find a few jobs for them. I think. But we need one commoner to actually work there. So let's get um, this little fellow. Promote them. And now we can put them in the stonemasonry. Four people in a warehouse. And that should do the trick. Everybody has a job. Very nice. Oh, Blue looks very good on you. Guess the two of you have been promoted. No, well, I don't guess. I know because I'm the one who did it. And now you are well on your way being mods on the YouTube channel as well. All right. Everything seems to be set up properly. <laughs> you got called belligerent. Okay, why was that? Let's see. I think we need to expand the church, by the way, because we have room for 45 people in a week. And, uh, well, we have quite a few more villagers. So it might well be that we need a little bit of an expansion. Now, let's see. This gives uh, six capacity. This gives nine capacity, so that's interesting. And I think with this, we can uh, go quite far along to expand the church at least to get... Oh, this doesn't fit. Well, we'll build it anyway. Yeah, let's just get rid of that house. They can build that house somewhere else. That's fine. Let's remove the zoning around the church. That's better. All right, well, this should do something for the church. That should make more people be able to enter it. As we slowly try to uh, work our way up to buying another zone at a certain point. Oh, this looks interesting. We make quite a bit of money out of trade. That's nice. So we should continue with that then. And... Um, uh, we're getting some meat in, not too much, but some. We did sell some, so maybe we need to invest in another hunter soon. Just to make sure that we really produce enough hunting stuff. Let's see, hunting zone. We can easily include this little piece, and then we have an extra boar there. Uh, maybe that works, we'll see. To get some housing and stuff here too in the end to make sure that people can work and live here but we uh we might need to take it a bit slower then i think because um if we grow too fast we'll run into all sorts of difficulties i guess we should focus on expanding a bit more on the island first and of course on making some money that will be very nice Still really curious to hear, of course, why you got called the belligerent. Or I guess you guys are just testing out all your new modding moderator skills and, and things that you can do with it. All right, this is slowly starting to fill up. Advice followed. Your increased taxation and earned more coins. Yeah, that's good. That's what we did. We increased taxation. Taxes are now oh, pretty okay. That should help out. Still have another job for a stonemason. That means that we can get rid of one. Oh, we already did, I guess. No, here it is. This one should just go. So, um... Maybe we should just pause production then. Get the guy out. Yep, yeah, let's get you out of there. 
And then we should be able to add one in here. Yep, there it's working. Now, unfortunately, there's no way to tell them to empty this because that will be the best way to go. And after that, we can just destroy it. But maybe if we wait, they'll pick up this one lost polished stone. That could be the thing. Even a badge saying... <laughs> oh, I wonder how that went with them. Did they easily accept it or did you still get a reprimand for it? <laughs> All right, we now have room for 81 people in the church. That should be sufficient. We need entertainment. Interesting. Because I don't know what they want for entertainment. Oh, probably the tavern. Ah, that should be the tavern. Ah, the butchery we already have. Housing insufficiency. Ah, they want more housing. Which is, of course, quite... Okay. Question is where they want it. Yeah, up here. You destroy the house, of course. That's probably why. <laughs> oh, then everything should be fine in the chat, as it always is, but now... At least there's some, some people making sure it really is. So that's a good thing. All right, we make some money now. I think I'm going to save it, buy up a zone here. Then we have some more room to expand. Um, I don't, I still don't think if I'm too happy with this big red blob here. So um, that could probably go later on. They're all busy with these bushes here. Ah, these are emptied out. That's the thing. Okay. Apparently they stay empty for longer now because they all went to the other bush. We're busy there. Now they're getting back here and they're still not filled up. Luckily we have plenty of berries. No resource to extract. Um, what? There's plenty of resource to extract, I would say. Maybe they can't all five work here. That All ten. That could be the case. Oh, it'll be fine. Yep, there's new berries there. All right. So we can get a few extra jobs out by creating a few extra berry bushes or berry gatherers. That could be interesting. There we go. Getting some meat up. All right, so we slowly get more stuff to, to buy these, which is the tavern refined architecture. That could be interesting. Milling Texas, oh, we don't need that. But we should still be buying all of this, of course. But we can unlock the keep and we can unlock the monastery. Maybe we should go for the keep first soon. Um, but I want to keep this up because right now, because it's above five, we get coins slowly. And we can make use of them by unlocking everything. Then we'll invest in one of the others. And then we can make sure that um, we get all the things balanced out. All right, we can unlock the tavern if we want to. Or we can go for farming. We can go for the bailiff, which could be interesting for all the different um, stuff that we need to find. So I guess... Oh, we ran out of money. I guess we bought some stuff on the market. That's the most likely thing. There's another house being built. Interestingly enough, I don't know where all my tools are going. Ah, uh, we probably just bought some to get the numbers up. That's it. Okay, that's fine. This guy bought some stone. We're selling all our polished stone now, but that's fine. Because that's the way we make some money now. And if we really need some polished stone, we can always keep it in there. Um, we can't build a bailiff's office yet. So maybe we should unlock the bailiff and then build a bailiff's office. 
so that he can start searching for all the precious resources that we need. Um, yeah, we can now build a bailiff's office. I think we should just do the same on this side then. So get it like this. So it is a bit mirrored. That could be nice. The bailiff's office also needs a door for itself, apparently. It's only one type of door. That's not so nice. Needs a chimney too, though. All right, let's build a door for the bailiff so he can enter. Let's wait until it's done, then we'll assign a bailiff. You are most welcome, and it was you who suggested that um, uh, I needed to uh, get mods here too, just in case spammers come in and stuff. And I thought, well, I have two very good mods on the Twitch trend channel, you two. So uh, let's put you up here too. So you're most welcome. So is this the end version yet? Uh, well, this is the latest update for this game. Um, not the end version, they're still developing it uh, quite regularly. But uh, for now, this is the version that it is, um, is out. <laughs> ah, you're the Padawan learner. Well, Rotor was a great teacher, so you'll learn a lot from him. Should be interesting. There's our guy walking across. We have some meat to spare, not too much. We do sell good amounts. Everybody should be happy with all the meat that they get and all the food that they get. So, yeah, happiness is pretty okay. We need some entertainment and we need some more goods. Uh, we actually need clothing and we need to store our clothing somewhere in order to make sure that they can sell it. Right now we're not storing goods anywhere. That's an issue. So we need to start building a warehouse, but a warehouse gives negative effects. So that's an issue. So if I want to build a warehouse, it should be somewhere here. But for that we need to buy this area, which will cost me 250 coins that we don't have yet. So we're just going to save up some money, buy this zone. Build a warehouse here for all the clothing stuff. And then we can actually start selling clothing, making more people happy. Which is good. See you soon, Roadhog. Good luck with that. Hope it works. Oh, it should be working, so that should not be an issue. Alright, the other gatherer's hut is ready too, so let's set it all up. Perfect. That works. Bailiff's office is ready, so let's assign a bailiff. Soldier training speed is increased by 11% if we pick Semeno. If we go for Koraducci, we get the same thing, and if we go for Ezra, we get the same thing too. So it doesn't really matter. So we'll just uh, pick the first one then, I don't care. Alright, let's go prospecting some minerals, I guess. Um, or we could gain influence. If we gain some influence with the um, laborers, then we can get all the stuff quicker. So let's do that. We're not going to get on prospecting missions yet. We'll do that soon. We'll just make sure that we can unlock everything for the laborers with the coins that we need. Ah, farming must be unlocked if we want to get this one. Tavern must be unlocked if we want to get this one. So we need to unlock some more stuff anyway. But we also need to save coins to buy this zone. So it's a bit of a trade-off, but we'll be saving up a few coins now first. Alright, let's have a bailiff, but we already have that. So I guess uh, we already did that. Complete the mandate, gain influence with one estate. Well, we're busy with that. Edicts and privileges. Let's ratify an edict. I think I already did that, but um, okay. Contractual waste edict. We have to get it, and then we have to set it. Contractual wage, that's the one. Can we see what the bonus is that we're going to get if we fulfill that? No. Alright. Then I'm just going to save my coins first. I'm still having a little piece of candy in my mouth. I'm very sorry about it. Hope he doesn't make too much noise. Hope wifey and little one are okay. Yeah, they're doing great. Uh, wifey's at work. Ooh, let's see. Improving trade with Northbury. 
Thanks to your increasing trade, a large number of folks are now looking to settle in Northbury, yet the village struggles to feed the extra workforce and ask if you could send them some much needed bread. But we don't have bread, so that's a problem. We can send them coins, we can ask the elders for help, but we can't because we don't have the coins, so we refuse to help right now. And we can skip this one for three months. Okay. Well, we'll skip it because we can't do that right now. So apparently we have met all the requirements to upgrade the trade route with Northbury. And all we need to do now is upgrade it. But, uh, well, we don't have the stuff for that. So that's an issue. But yeah, wifey and little one are okay. Little one had swimming class today, which was nice. She enjoyed it. And um, wifey's at work. She'll be home uh, probably when the stream is about to end. So uh, we'll see. If you get gold, do you need to smelt? Yes. So if we unlock gold in some of the mountains, we have to build a gold mine first. Then we have to build the gold smeltery. And then we have to get the uh, other stuff. Let's see. Um, because I believe we also need... Yeah, you need a gold smelter. And that produces gold bars. Uh, and that you can use to make uh, jewelry. So um, it's not like we're actually producing gold coins then. We are producing some jewelry with that. Gold is merely the resource that we use to pay for everything. But it's not like we can just uh, mint it ourselves all the time. Ooh, four new villagers. That's nice. Do we have jobs for them? One builder and a stonemason. But for the stonemason... Oh, that's this stonemason. This well has to go. Destroy. Bye-bye. We still had that one up. So, um, I think we have to reach that point where we get to the gold. But I believe... Um, yeah, you just get the gold smelter. And then you can use that to make jewelry. And not really coins. So, we, know, we don't have a mint or something like that, I believe. But maybe it's in here. Smitting taxes. Great hole. No, we don't really have the... Uh, a mint where we can make our own coins quickly. Welcome back, Roadhog. Alright, they're building houses for all the people to live in. That's a good thing. Our number of coins is slowly running up. We still need about 50 more to actually buy this zone. Then we still need... Or 75 more. Uh, then we still need some money to buy a um, warehouse. But as soon as we do, we should be able to get a lot of clothing. And sell that straight away. Which could boost a lot of our income, of course. We can sell clothing here too. So we could already set that up, I guess. Straight route resources, clothing. Oh, we're already selling everything above 100, but we're not storing it yet. <laughs> all right good amounts of stone some polished stone but we're selling it all all the time are we getting all the tax money collected let's see apparently so i don't see any buildings that start to get filled up so yeah we are apparently able to collect all the taxes all the time so that's a good thing. That means that we don't have to worry about that. I think there goes the tax collector. Yep, that was the tax collector. So we've collected all the taxes. Perfect. Always keep your eyes on that. So that if you see that some of the houses get completely filled up. You make sure that you don't continue. But build an extra tax office somewhere. So that you get all those taxes too. Plenty of berries now. 252 we have the coinage so let's just buy it straight away before we run out again now we have the extra zone we can also set this to be extracted which is a good thing whoops that's a bit too far out we don't really need that and now my mouse has gone weird what's this it's not where it's supposed to be i guess all right this is better now let's get all the trees out of here 
Yep, there we go. Let's set this berries that they can use them if they want to. And we have 99 coins again. So let's get going with an extra warehouse for the clothing. Let's just build it straight next to the other one. That's fine. Build. Prioritize it because I want to get some clothing out to the people. We do have the market stall for it. We just can't sell it because it's not in the storages. Will you be putting the crops in a separate zone? Um, well, uh, I think so. We could either go for some farming maybe on this part of the island. Or we make the choice to just keep all the farming off the island. And start some farming in this heavily um, <laughs> dense forest. I'm um, still not sure yet, but maybe you guys can help me out. So give me some ideas. Uh, we could go for this area, for instance, build a bridge here, then build some farms and some farmland. So we get a big farming part here. We do need a small village, of course, for the people to live close to the farms. But that could well be, be possible. So we could do that. Let's see. We have another coin. Newcomers ignore the happiness immigration factor. Well... What I'm going to do is I'm going to unlock the tavern now. And then we can unlock this one. We're also going to unlock... Oh, we don't have the coins for it now. Farming, because then we can unlock the other one too. And then we almost have all of the labor progression tier notable unlocked. So that's a good one. If we could get that. Don't forget to send a coin to those starving people if you have enough to spare. Uh, who are starving? I don't think I have any starving citizens right now. A functional tavern should have the following. A berry brewery, a public lounge, and a service counter. Okay, we'll get that done. Here we are with a new warehouse. Let's put four people in them so they have a job. And let's assign some wool some cloth so that we can have some to spare and then clothing and as soon as they start to pick up clothing we can start to sell it we need the cloth in the keep later on to make sure that we get um the dummies out because they need cloth to be dressed up so that could be interesting so we are getting there No, that request you got. Uh, oh, but I, I did not take the request because we don't have any bread. We'll have to wait until we get bread. Um, and once we get it, then we can start to send that out. But we'll have to get the quest again too. And we're not going to get the quest anytime soon. I think we could start building a tavern now though. At least then we have to start for it. Um, here we have our town. So I think this, the tavern could go somewhere here. Why not? Would be interesting uh let's start with the public lounge oh interesting a lot of options a refined hall with a balcony room size 10 public lounge capacity 10 all right so i think we need to make a decent sized public lounge so that a lot of people can have a drink here because this is the main part of town so there should be a lot of people in here what does this look like all right it requires a lot of resources though this requires way less. So the question is... Room size minimum 12. Public lounge capacity 8. This is 10 and 10. But for this we get splendor points. And for this we don't. Problem is we don't need any splendor yet. With the um, tavern. Because if we get too many splendor points. That would be an issue. So I'm going to wait with the tavern. Because we want to keep these a bit balanced. And the more splendor points it gets with these. The higher negatives i get with those and that's not what i want right now let's unlock farming and unlock the milling tax now we only have to one to go and then we can either go for a little church with some points or the military fort and i guess we'll get to the military fort then i'm going to unlock it already all we need is another 10 coins and then we should be fine The request I got open for six months. Uh, I don't have a request here. So. I don't know.
Let's see, this is all the food for the bakery. This is the military fort that we're gonna get soon. Are we selling clothing? Yes, very nice. Happiness is now up to 85. This is starting to fill up, that's great. If we get clothing above 100, we should be able to start selling that too. Apparently trade's going quite good. I think I'm going to change the trade a bit now and make it so that we keep some of the polished stone. In this case, we'll keep 50. So that we have some st polished stone for ourselves to build up. The most important things first, beer. Yeah, we need some beer production, but uh, we need to do it in the right order. And right now we need our bailiff to return, get us the coins that we want to unlock this. And then we start investing into the uh, kingdom. A stake wall and a kingdom splendor package. A military encampment, weapon stand, a bow stand and a war hat stand. Okay. Sounds interesting. Not getting it yet, but we will. Is there anything on the common path that we can get? Sounds nice, but uh, costs a lot of coinage. Don't really want to spend that yet. Yeah, we'll have to wait with that. I think we need to start anticipating the growth of the village. Which we can do by start setting up a market here. Where people can actually just get their food needs and their water needs. Uh, I have to put it a bit away from this because we want to keep this forest. If we check this and we go to the hunting zone we can see that the boar is also here. Looks like the boar is moving a bit. I don't know. At least we have some boar here. So if we want to get to... A little bit of a village. We need to get a bit further out, I think. Oh boy. Hard decisions. Two extra people. Nice, but I don't have jobs for you people. Well, I guess we could get extra berries. Since we're going to get a brewery soon that uses berries. So let's get some extra berries out. And we, well, what we need now is the bailiff to return, but he is away quite long. Now that's probably because I usually play on speed 3, and right now we play on speed 2, so it just takes longer for the bailiff to return. Not an issue, but interesting. Waiting for the wall. Alright, this should be okay. We have some wool to spare in the storage. Let's see. So what have you guys been up to this week? Ah, they're building these huts now. Very good. Well, now we can employ a few more people. Which is always good for happiness and for the um, immigration incentive. Getting close to 100 people already. That's nice too. Looks like we even have money to buy an extra zone again. I think we should buy a zone here. Either this one or this one. I think this one because there's some open space here too. So we can start to build a new part of town here. And then stay away from the uh, boar area here. So yeah, let's buy this area. Let's get rid of the extraction zone here. We need this area to be a hunting area. As much as possible. So we can get as many boar as we can. Or as much boar as we can. And then we can start to build a new section of town right here. Let's build it right here. Let's get going with some uh, market space. Okay. Court market one. Two. Three. 
we'll just do f no we'll do three because that's all we have and one clothing piece all right they all add 20 to the capacity so it doesn't really matter which one we use that's fine we do get extra splendor though so i'm just going to plan this we're not going to build it yet we'll do that soon we'll just need to wait a bit not much being a bit down because all i was working on is starting to fall apart oh that's really sorry to hear that yeah i hope you can stay positive you should question of course is whether it's just a hurdle or a temporary thing that you can turn around or whether it's going to be uh definitive so um just don't give up keep trying i guess although we're all not sure what you're doing so can't really say but um really hope you can uh, can make it work And I really hope my bailiff comes soon because I want to get um, the coins here. All right, well, you keep working on it. Just do what you can. If we can help with something, just let us know. I think we can do some extra taxes here without too much hurt. Yeah, apparently. The difference is quite big, actually, so let's just do it. People will still be happy. Three extra foragers. All busy, very good. Can I see when my bailiff returns? Ah, he's coming back to the village. Okay, that's nice. Finally. I don't know where he is, but he apparently is coming back to the village. So let's hope he has good news. He gets some coins so we can start working on the keep. Which would also be interesting because then finally, if we get the keep, we can get to some soldiers. And I think that would be nice. And building a keep up here overlooking the hill would also be nice, I think. So we're going to go for that. Do we have all that we need in here right now? What else do we have? Treasury or a tax office. Well, we have those. So that's okay. Oh, there he is. All right. So now we know where he is. Still a bit of walking to do, but not too much. The well is done in the new area. That's nice. That's nice. I think we can already set it up for some residential space then. Not sure if everybody, anybody will want to live here already, but maybe the hunter and people will start living here. We'll build the marketplace here soon, but um, not straight away. I like the idea of the inn. Yeah, we're going to build it here, but it's all the labor force, and I don't want to get too imbalanced with the laborers. So, yeah, here we'll get the inn soon. We'll build the um, fort here soon. Then we need to start investing in the church too. Because now all of this doesn't give us any splendor. Your bailiff is back. Very good. With 10 points. Now we can have everything unlocked. Very good. All right. Here we can go with the kingdom now. Let's see. Do we have to unlock something for the military fort? No, we already did. Okay. So let's go to our little fortress. See if we can build something that actually has some splendor points to it. Select a function. I guess we should start building the fortified keep first. Which is probably this big tower. As a start. There we go. I think we should raise it just a little bit. It needs a door, of course. Oh, this is a nice door. And a roof. I don't think we can put the other roof on it yet. No. Okay, so we'll just put this roof on it then. So at least it has a roof. Now you have to decide which area to expand. Um, 
Well, it's, this gives us 10 splendor with the kingdom. So that's good. Let's see how far that gets us. Then we also need to start getting the um, barracks and stuff in. So we'll get some more splendor there. Um, and once we have enough splendor with the um, uh, kingdom, we can unlock all of this. Then we go for the clergy, unlock all of this. And then finally, let's unlock everything, by the way. We can go to the laborers again, but otherwise we get too imbalanced and that's not what we want. All right, they're going to build the military fort now. Two builders are bringing resources. Well, let's keep them doing that. I wonder how much they can bring at one go. This guy just brought 44 planks on his own. <laughs> Pretty powerful guy. Five um, tools. Adette is not as strong. She's only bringing five planks. But that's fine. And now that we have all our builders available just to build this, because we're not building anything else, as far as I know, maybe a house here, but I don't think so. No. So that's a good thing. That means that they can all build the keep now. We unlocked the monastery. That could be very interesting in helping us to uh, get everything around. And we can build a wall. How nice would it be if on the all the around the island we can build a little wall? I think that would look very interesting. So that might be something. Now this has three different parts, I believe. No, just one. At least one that they can build at the same time. So it will take quite some time for them to build this because they have to do it one at a time. Now we can, of course, already expand it with barracks. Common path flourishing tier unlocked. So we can get some new stuff. All right, let's take a look at that first. We now have the flourishing tier, which is this one. We can get to tooling, beer production. That sounds good to some people. Common goods, the luxury market, some statues, decorations. All right, interesting. We won't be unlocking them straight away, but we will in the end. We also still have a mission. Oh, build a monastery. All right, guys, choice for you guys. Should we build a monastery that will accept both monks and nuns? Should we build just one for monks, just one for nuns? Or should I continue on my own? Choice is yours. One, two, three, and four. Just pick it. Uh, I'm going to get the, this one because that's a mission that we have. We have to enact it too. So let's do so. Then we'll have another mission done. There we are. Very good. We have no quests at this point. Army at the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get that. We'll get a strong, powerful army. One to keep it interesting. The monks and the nuns. <laughs> I guess you guys want to see baby monks and baby nuns. But uh, all right, that's what it is then. We'll get both of them, although we're not going to build the monastery straight away, but we'll get it at some point. Have to find lots of space for it, though, because we need the apiary to go with it and all the other buildings like the um, uh, herb garden and things like that. So we need a lot of space for it, but we'll get that done. Can we already assign soldiers? Yes, four soldiers assigned. That's good. We still need to build barracks, though. I was going to check whether we have something to unlock quickly. Oh yeah, here. But we're not there yet. Yeah, we need this to be done first. So let's expand it with a barracks option so that people can live in the barracks. Uh, no, I want this straight up. Yeah, like this. Very good. That doesn't really work. All right, we'll get two pieces of barracks. Eight soldiers can live in one, so with two we have space for ten soldiers. All right. Oh, our soldiers are standing watch already. I think we should also start working on the training grounds, because we need training dummies. One, two, three, four, five. Because we're going to start with five soldiers. All right, that's the training ground for now. <laughs> well, 
I hope they are going to be making some special uh, monk beer. That would be nice. But uh, yeah, we're not getting to the monks yet. Let's build this first. At least they can all bring their resources for it. That's good. So lots of planks and stuff coming in. And hopefully they can finish it quickly now. At least we're on our way, which is good. And sending out some soldiers soon to actually do some... Uh, some work persuading people to give us goods and stuff like that. That's always a good thing, I guess. <laughs> Very true. Well, for now, they have to find their own beer uh, while slaughtering and bring it back because we were not producing any beer yet. There's quite some downsides to working on an island. One of them being, of course, no space for anything. Um, so next up could be going this way and then getting all the farms here and stuff for the breweries, but, uh, oh well. Well, it can be very smart sometimes to give them beer before they have to go to war, so they'll actually fight because they won't be clear enough to think about it. We'll see. We are actually getting somewhere with our town. We have plenty of clothing, we have good amounts of fish, plenty of berries, good amounts of stone, actually some meat, so it's not, not that bad. I think we're doing quite okay, all the tax money is collected. Ooh, we can see the keep slowly starting to take shape. Kingdom notable tier reached, alright. Apparently we reached this, so that's good. All we need now is coins and then we can start unlocking this. So that worked. That worked. Very good. We have newcomers. One, two, three, four. And a new till can be heard. Army raised. Forward march. The clamor of military exercises echoes through the village. These might not be the most pleasant sounds, but they're a good reminder your people are safe. Very well. 10% happiness bonus. Okay. Well, we have four soldiers. We need five to at least be somewhat productive. Uh, they can't train. Yeah, these two can train already. What we need to do now is give them a weapon. Oh, we don't have weapons yet. I thought we would have weapons by now. Normally we get weapons. A notable duty. The king has noticed your military fort and wants to be sure that you, his loyal vessel, have everything you need to host an army. Ah, we get weapons now. Yeah. Once armed and trained, the king expects your soldiers to contribute to the peace of the realm. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. We now have weaponry and stuff to unlock. So let's unlock something and let's give our soldiers weapons so that they can actually start to fight. They start with strength 2 now. I have to get that up to um, four before they can actually uh, be very useful in battle. But um, oh, we'll take our time and soon we'll have the barracks where they can live. Tina Turner has died. That's pretty recent then. That wasn't in the news like half an hour ago. Oh yeah, I read, I'm read. i reading it now. 83. All right, well. Condolences to the families, of course. That's a pretty big icon that's no longer around. Ooh, we have a pretty high kingdom rating now because we're building such a strong big fort. Hmm. Just came on the radio. Yeah, well, that's that's news. Well, at least 83 is a respectable age. Alright, we'll wait until this is done. Our soldiers keep training. 
then we should slowly start to focus on the church. But that can be quite hard now that this number is up so big. So we're going to need a big monastery to um, get the points for that now, but it should be well possible. And there are unlockables. Let's see. They're not here yet, but that can help out with that. I think the clergy has one too. Yeah, here. Clergy and labor mutual splendor negative impact is reduced. So we should just start to focus a few points for the church. That should be good enough to, to work out. First barracks is ready. I think, yep. Yeah. Okay. Ah, we have militia living here now in that house, but they should be living in the barracks. But we're going to wait until it's completely done. And then we will put the soldiers in there. Could also get like five more soldiers in. Then we have just ten straight away. That's good. That gives everybody a job too. Occupation 2 out of 16. Well, I think if we get uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 out, they can all just go to the uh, to the barracks if they want to now. I guess that would be nice. And they're training up. That's a very good thing. Let's go give more of them a sword. It's very tempted to uh, build extra um, training dummies, but I'm not sure if that's the way to go, actually. Training grounds, yes. That also gives splendor, so we're not going to get extra training dummies, that's not good. Didn't look that old. Ooh, well, I haven't recently looked at Tina Turner, but um, I don't know. I mean, she's been around since I was born. I've heard that name, so she's been around for quite some time. Not a big icon that's gone out. I have an idea. We should. Uh, we're gonna start a new town here anyway. So we're also going to need a big church here. And we should be able to get better stuff for the church now. Yeah, that gives us some church splendor. So that should be interesting. Because that can really help out. Thatched nave and a thatched chapel. Capacity is 24, capacity is 45. But this is, yeah, it's quite big, but not as big as the other one. But at least we can get something of a church here, then get some points. And if we just put two in a row, we should get quite some splendor to help out. Let's just build a tower on the site this time. Put a little cross on the top. Ah, we have to rotate the tower in order for the cross to face the right way. Well, this is a start for a nice church. And we get some splendor points here. So that's good. This also gives some splendor points. The entrance should be where the tower is, of course. Alright, there we go. Let's start building this, so we get splendor points for the church too. Yeah, they will share the practice dummies. As soon as one is available, one will go to it. So that's no problem, but we just need to stop getting more kingdom rating right now, because otherwise things get way too unbalanced. It's okay for now, but... Um, I guess that's also a thing that might need some rebalancing because right now we want to build a tavern to get the entertainment up and stuff like that. And there's no real need to already build a monastery for such a small village that we have. But in the end we need to because we need to get the rating with the clergy up too. And we need to start working on some more labor rating soon too. 
Uh, which we can do by just building this little park area, of course. So that could be a thing. Maybe we should just build it now. Uh, so people can start to live here. And we get a bit better rating too. I think that should be it. Let's go like this. And then we'll see what effects do we have. Well, not a lot too bad effects. That's okay. I think our bailiff can go on a next mission. Let's see. I think he should be... Um, he should be on a prospecting mission. Let's go. Let's find some resources for us. We need that. A merchant is approaching your village. Okay, then he wants something. Oh, that might be the guy from the mission that we had to upgrade our trade with Northbury. But uh, we don't have coins to pay him. We don't have the coins here. So that ain't helpful. That's not going to work out. And we can't unlock anything here because we need 5 and 10 coins. We need 25 coins total. Yeah, it can be hard, but it just takes quite a bit of investment and just making sure that you build the right things. Everything in the church right here now will help us gain points. So that should be fine. And we can get there. We know how the game works, so it, it we'll get there. It's fine. We can see that they are doing a really good job. I'm just going to erase this zone. So that they will just take out all the lumber they can on the rest of the island. And I'm going to build an extra lumber camp. We'll do it right there. Provide some extra jobs. And we can really get rid of all the trees. Which should also be helpful to our cause. And then hopefully soon we can buy some extra zones again. Should keep an eye on the soldiers. We can see that most of them are partly trained. Some are actually already level 3. So they, I think they go up to level 4 now. A merchant is requesting an audience. The bishop is looking to build a few chapels along the pilgrimage routes. One of his merchants noticed your woodcutter camps and want to make you an offer. Ooh, this is good. Accumulate 100 wood. We have 82 right now. And we can get coins and... Trade coins for the um, clergy. Let's discuss a better deal. Nah. 90% chance it worsens or not interested. Should we go for this? I think we should. Because this can give us a nice... Um, it could give us a nice bonus and 100 coins. So I'm thinking, yeah, we'll do this. And then we'll try to manage that. Um, let's stockpile this. So that we can get the quest done and then we can open it up again so they can use it. We now have the lumber camp. Yeah, this can get in a lot into micromanaging. Um, although they have done their job improving that. Um, so you can now ease, more easily upgrade villagers or promote villagers to, to get them to work in the right building and stuff like that. That was way harder before, so... Um, it, they're improving it, but yeah, it can be a lot of micromanaging. But I don't think it's too much. And you can have... Uh, I, I like the amount of control that you actually have over your town. So that's nice. And it's nice that they decide themselves where they want to build their houses and stuff. It always makes for interesting villages. Alright, they're bringing in all the wood... We can't use it for anything, but we'll open that up soon. But we need to get the 100 wood to the bishop. As they try and build the church here. Oh, that's not going that bad. I think uh, this is going well. Let's set this area up for extraction too. And maybe we can build a woodcutter here. So that we can get extra wood from here too. And provide jobs here. I think we can place the woodcutter somewhere here then. So it's out of the way of the little village. Provide some extra wood that we can also use for sails and for extra planks. So that could be nice. 104. 
we have 96 in storage so we can't do it yet but soon we can yeah workers and resources an absolute nightmare if you don't like micromanagement all right they just need to bring some wood into the storage and it should be fine there it is all right let's pay up there we go we can now let go of the resource again they can keep using it and we've got the 100 coins that's good now we have a good amount of coins let's unlock the last piece here so we have some extra decorations that we're going to use soon to beautify our town a bit let's use some of the coins for this yeah now we have unlocked whatever we can and I think once the um, bailiff gets back from the prospecting mission, we'll start to invest in gaining some uh, influence with the kingdom so that we can unlock these quicker and continue towards the, um, the clergy. I think that might be a good option. Two builders assigned. All the resources are there, so this should go rather quickly. We have extra decorations now. Nice. Uh, but we'll wait with that a bit because they also cost resources. But uh, we'll get to them. We make some nice tax money a month. Have to keep in mind that that's monthly, not weekly. This is our weekly balance. Um, but um, our monthly balance, we get some taxes out. So that's okay. Yeah, there's plenty of workplaces coming up. They're just not done yet. Lumber camp done. Okay. So now we can put three people to work there in the lumber business. That means you now have 99 people. 86 happiness. So we'll soon get up to 100. There comes villager number 100. I wish you could throw a party in his honor. So that we... Uh, can make the town very happy, but I don't think that's something that can happen. There he is, villager number 100. Nice. Do we have soldiers already to start sending on a mission? No, some of them are mostly trained. One is already level 4, but we'll wait until they're fully trained, of course. You only want to send out the best soldiers on missions. We get 6 influence now. Is there something that we can already get? No. Oh, that's for the clergy. We need a way better rating to get that done. Four coins for influence now with the um, kingdom. So just one more. And we can unlock this one. Nice. A courier is requesting an audience. There is plenty of fish in storage and the elders believe your village is due for the fish fair. If you can make sure everyone has a splashing good time, there's a good chance the trading value of this resource will improve. Alright, so we can host a fish fair. Assign fish to the market stall's court. We already did that. Raise the happiness of your village to 75. We already did that. And wait for the fair to be over. Okay, well, we cannot do all of that. So that's fine. We can order the fishermen to work double. But there's a 50-50 chance it'll work. I don't really like that. Or gather it another time. Uh, I think we should just host the fish fair. See how it goes. <laughs> smells fishy yeah especially this option smells fishy so we'll just host the fish fair see how things go i do see the number of fish slowly starting to decline a bit so i am actually very tempted to just build one or two extra it'll provide jobs and we'll get extra fish so that should be nice yeah option one i know i know i know i saw that already Ooh, there comes the big church. They brought some resources too for the market. Perfect. I guess we should build a builder's office here too. So that they can actually start building from here. 
One, two, three. Oh, we have only one, but that's okay. That also provides extra jobs. I think we can really use that too. Here we go. Well, it's busy in town. But I like that. Mostly trained, mostly trained, mostly trained, mostly trained. Okay, we're really getting there with the soldiers. Keep an eye on people doing fishy deals. <laughs> well, there'll be plenty of fishy deals out here. I know that for sure. But that's okay, that's okay. We can also see that we've almost completely ran out of wool and cloth. So I think they did a rebalance there because usually two of these with buy five sheep in both produce plenty, but apparently right now we're not. So that's interesting. We only have one weaver and one tailor, so that should be okay. But uh, we'll deal with that soon. Cristianuccio. Interesting name. And here we have Gonnery. Oh, that's doing a good job. Guess they're all busy here, completing this little church, so that there's plenty of space for people to go to church. And, ooh, we have the first resource available here. Let's get berries in then. And then when we have people available, we can put in a market work. So at least they can get some food to the ones that live close here. And that, that should help out to make this part of town uh, starting to grow. Getting some food there. Yeah, here we have villagers. So let's put one in that marketplace. So that should work. And I guess the other one can be a builder right down there. And that way we should have a uh, fisher's hut build. Good. So if more people come in, they can be fishermen. Yeah, I know we can, but um, you can already see that all of these are completely filled up with wool. So um, they're not really short of any wool. It's just that the workers can't do them all. So it might even be better. See, there he goes. Shaving one sheep. There it is, and we'll get two wool out of it, but now they're going away again. Oh, there's not a sheep, I think. I'm not sure if ten sheep will actually help, because I think with five or six, before the, they, they've shaved the last one, the first one have already grown back the wool. You can see already, this one got uh, the wool out. You can see how quickly it grows back. So this one she just shaved. And you can just see them starting to blow a bit and getting the wool back. There it goes, there it goes. Almost done. So yeah, putting in more sheep. I don't think it's working, but we'll see. Missing raw materials. Yeah, we need an extra hunter soon too. We do have a big hunting zone. We can see the boar moving actually. And if we buy this so we can get a lot more boar. So maybe that should be something for the future. Buy this zone, get one or two extra hunters and just hunt the boar. And hunt the boar like crazy. Mandates. Well, he's still on his way. Soldiers. One fully trained. Three still partly trained and the rest mostly trained. Very good. Now, so far, what I've noticed, um, even the trained up soldiers will keep training. So they will keep using the dummies, which could slow down the training of some of them, because if they're always occupied, then some of them can't train. So that's a thing to keep in mind. But so far, what I've seen is they will always just use the dummies once they can, even if they are already fully trained up. But, uh, ah, too fully trained now. Very good. Your bailiff has found a deposit. Delighted visitors. Happiness is up by 15%. That's nice. And we found a iron deposit. Nice. Where is this? Where's my town? Where's my town? There. Ooh, that is not so close. <laughs> Oopsie. All right, interesting. Let's go give it another mandate and let's get influence with the kingdom. 
so that we get those coins out. We can unlock the first thing, the stone rampart. Let's do so straight away. That's nice. We get two extra villagers in. Rustic church build and a stargazer is coming, which means bad weather is coming. So keep that in mind. There is bad weather coming. I like the idea of the forest near the river as a barrier between the two towns. Yeah, we'll keep some of the forest. We'll keep some of the forest, that's for sure. So this should this should stay forest. We also did not set it up to be uh, chopped out. So this will be more boar country. And then we'll build a second part of town here outside of the forest for a bit. No access to food. That's probably this one. Um, I think we need a granary here. So that they can all get their food in. And then we put the four different types of food that we have. Or three different types of food in here. Ah, we have another source. Let's do fish. I think that will be good. If we get a granary here with fish and berries and stuff, we can store some extra. And they don't have to walk that far from their market stalls, which is a problem, of course. All right, we have two people available. We will put them into the fisherman jobs. So that at least that gets done. And there's the stargazer. Bad weather is coming. This incident will happen soon. A wise stargazer has come to the village predicting that bad weather is coming. They recommend that we stock as much food as we can whilst the weather is good. Well, we'll try and do so. Usually the weather will turn up bad quite quickly. All right. He doesn't have access to food. Who are you? Skemeno. He's a builder, I believe. Oh, he's the bailiff. Okay. I guess the bailiff can't get food because he's away all the time. But there's also no berries and stuff in here. Why is that? They should just be picking that up somewhere. Where's Reinbold? Ah, yet yeah, there's berries. It just takes time for them to collect the goods every now and then and put them in again. So that might have been the case. And if it gets too bad, we can always try to get extra market stalls or something like that. That could be fine. Let's see. Are there better options to increase the amount of food? No, this is all just decoration. So it won't do anything to increase the amount of food in a stall. This will do. But that only adds 20. So um, this will do for now. It'll get better soon. Or at least it should. Plus 17, minus 8. So that's still going to take some time. Yeah, we got another house here. They're building a house here. So the first house has come up here. I like that. Another market stall getting ready. Uh, we need people here to work, but uh, we'll get those soon. We just have one market tender, so that might be a problem. Money-wise, we're doing quite good. We're actually at the max of our money. So let's get another zone. We'll get this one. So at least we have this entire island ready now. Let's tell them to extract the resources from here. And this should also help us to get a nice crossing somewhere here soon. Let's just get rid of all the trees here. Ah, they almost removed all the trees here. Very good. This whole area is now starting to become freed up. Hey, Kimberly! Enjoy your early supper. I've been lurking the past hour. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Totally fine, of course. Nice to hear you're doing well. Sunny outside today. That's great. Everything is fine here. All right, let's see. Ah, newcomers. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, wow. Well, we need market tenders. We need a builder. And that's it. Well, we need people in the granary soon once that's done. So that is something. Maximum. Immigration is maximum. Happiness is maximum. That's nice. That brings in lots of immigrants. Immigrants. 
A merry fair. Trade price bonus of 10%. Trade bonus, we got coins. Okay, very good. Not that we can use them, but uh, it's nice. It's nice. Ah, here comes the granary. That will help out a lot. Let's put villagers in there and let's tell them to get berries. And the fish and the meat. And once we get another source of food, we'll get that too. But this is a start. As soon as they start to stock up on that, that should be helpful. And it would also be helpful if we could reach these berries. So they have a short line here to go. Okay, well, we'll see. It's a start. I guess in the end, we should get a... Um, warehouse here too at a certain point to get the things like clothing and stuff to into our town let's check the soldiers again fully trained fully trained five of them six seven of them are fully trained the rest is mostly trained and one is partly trained i think that's already enough to send them on a very easy mission for instance uh so yeah we're gonna do that let's send them on a very easy mission let's prepare the troops we'll send them all of course Success probability is extreme. Well, I like that. There they go. Let's hope the mission will be a success. They should all be gathering right here next to the well. And then they should just march out on a mission. I hope. <laughs> yep, there they all come. And they're complete. There they go. Well, these two walk a bit too close, but the rest is... Taking a nice walk. Thanks, Roadhog. Thanks. That's really nice. And we didn't even get to the beautifications yet. We're just waving the soldiers goodbye now. Um, Let's see. Let's get rid of this. I don't want to see that. I want to get to common decorations. Um... I guess we should get banners here in front of the uh, Lord Manor. That would be nice. And uh, a few trees here. Unfortunately, those trees will not work for the desirability of all of this. So maybe we should just place a few trees in, in between the houses. All right, another five villagers. Growing very fast now. All right, we have all of that set up. We have two people available, but we still did not set this up to be a goods market. Yeah, there we go. Clothing. Perfect. Are they storing goods in here yet? Not yet. Still plenty of coins again. So I think... We should buy this territory or go for this and get more boar. Hmm. No, we should go for this. We've got of the berries, and then next up can be the one with the boar. Let's get those berries out first. Especially also now that bad weather is coming soon, because then we need those extra berries up. Adam! Thank you so much for being coming a member of my channel. That's a big help. Thanks a lot. That's great. How are you, Adam? And where are you from? Yeah, the characters in this game are so cute and adorable. That's one of the things I love so much about this game. Look at this guy with his big eyes and his nice beard and bald head. And this guy with his mustache carrying his hammer around because he's a builder, apparently. How cool is that? They do have a somewhat creepy thing in their eyes but um oh you gotta love all these people oh look at the guy carrying all the goods around whoops sorry that was a bit weird there he comes and i like how they all have a perfect straight back that's perfect all right well we should be getting some goods in here now yes small amounts of goods that's a start and that should make it a lot easier for these people to get their goods for sales. And that should really help this part of town grow. So I like that. Let's see now. Um, our soldiers are on, our, on their way. 
Um, question. Should we build... Later on, of course. Not right now, because we have to get the... Um, labor or the uh, kingdom stuff first. But should we build our monastery somewhere up here? Right now, there's this guy, but he can go away. But I think the monastery should also be on our main island. Like the keep and the monastery and the tavern, they should be here. And then all the rest can go outside. Things like the farms and stuff. Oh yeah, this is this is just a charming game. I like it. Alright, let's see. Administration. I think we should make the um, square here look a bit nicer. So having an extra well here or a thing could help. Yeah, let's build it. And maybe get a few nice um, hedges here. I don't know. What else do we have? We already have a few benches, but maybe we can just make a few more. So that people can really sit and enjoy a nice place to, to just look around and all right let's build it let's get the extra people in we don't have jobs for them yet but we'll get those soon maybe we should get a few road signs so that people know where to go uh, i think one should go here uh, a bit like this All right, so at least we added some stuff. That is something. Hi, guys. I followed the channel since a while and love the videos in the vibe. Oh, thanks so much. I hope my support helps a little bit. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. It's amazing. Greetings from Austria. Very nice. Thank you so much, Adam. It really helps. Bad weather has arrived. Oh, as the Stargazer predicted. <laughs> Just look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the look of this guy. It, you know, this is just little one. Every now and then when she doesn't get what she wants, she'll be standing there like that. And then a few seconds later, it's gone. But this looks amazing. Your people hope that they've gathered enough food to live through this period. Oh, well, it'll pass. Uh, <laughs> this guy is amazing. But thanks so much. How are you doing, Adam? Sorry, I got interrupted by that funny guy. Alright, let's see. Because I have a plan. Let's go for this little... Um... Should we get a stone wall or a stone rampart? How big is this if we place this? Ooh, that's quite big, actually. I think... I want to get your guys' opinion, because I think if I build this, it would be nice to get some sort of a defense around the island, but I think it's a bit too big. It's just huge. If I build this around the entire island, then it's just a huge wall. Now, this one is a bit smaller, so that could be interesting. Or this one, but I think this one is really small. Yeah, this is like to keep the sea out, but it's also something of a defense line. And, of course, we have the uh, wooden palisade. Um, what kind of walls should we use to build around the island so that it looks like it has defenses, but it's not too crazy? Because I think I think this is a bit too crazy. This is just way too high. Uh, at least f for my opinion. Uh, I like either one of the stone ones or maybe the wooden stake wall. But uh, you guys give me your opinion. As I take a look around town. Six people without a job. There are two workplaces being built. So that should provide plenty of space for the uh, six people to get to work. But will they be building this soon? Let's prioritize these. This will also help us to not run out of berries. Because we'll have some production of berries. Even though production will go down with like 50%. But we'll still get some berries out. Which should be good. There's more houses here. I think we should increase the residential space too. 
to get some extra place for houses. Just like this. Yes. Okay. Gathering hut build. Very good. That means that we can at least employ three more people. Let's see. The middle stone one. The middle one with watchtowers. Watchtowers. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, let's see. The middle stone one. So that should be the tavern wall, I guess. Uh, watchtowers. I don't think we have watchtowers. Anywhere. But that could be interesting. Uh, but it also could go with this stone arch, for instance. So we can just build a stone arch here as a means of entering the town. I think we should build it somewhere here then, or just here. And then build a, the wall around it. Um, but at least we can try something of a wall out. But we'll just go with the tavern wall then. The middle stone wall. I think we should start right here. Um... Could do it something like this, for instance, and then continue that way. So with the, tav the um, gathering hut is included, and we can build some sort of a gate here. Or maybe we should just start with a gate. Because if we can build a gate here, then that could work out. With the bridge. I think this one is a little bit in the way. We can move this one a bit, then it might just fit in a bit nicer. But I do think we need a gate to actually make this look good. But then the gate should be somewhere here. But that's a bit too far away for the church. Hmm. We'll think about that later. Let's just get to work. Ah, the other forager's hut is done. Very good. We'll just start working. We'll get our way here. Like this. Left click on a wall node to select place a new node. Left click on a wall section to toggle wall curving. Alright, we'll see. I think we can just go a bit like this and just work, work our way around the island. I hope. That the sheep won't uh, get uh, in the way, but... Um, All right, well, this can just be a start. At least now we have some fortifications on the island. Should be nice. What's this? Oh, there's a little piece of... Oh, there's a sheep going through the wall. Okay. Very interesting. I guess we can start from this side too now then. At least we can see what it looks like. And these are totally free. So we're not spending any stones on this. Of course, these need to be excluded from this. Because I don't think we can go... Oh, we can even go in the water. But that's not too smart. Maybe we should do it like this. For starters. Alright. Well, I, I think I like this. The shoreline. But maybe we can just go from here up. And then exclude the keep and just go around the town here, make a gate here and just wall off this area. So the hill isn't walled off. So we just, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We can still get rid of parts. So um, it's a start. We'll see. Maybe we should just go over here and then go inside here and then just do half of the island or something like that. I guess it's a bit trial and error and we don't have to do it all at once. So that's okay. We have increasing numbers of fish because the extra fisheries that we have. So that's working out. We have a lot of coins again. Uh, let's buy this territory now. Let's get extra hunters. Yeah, plenty of boar here. Um, two, I guess. Yeah, let's build two extra hunter huts so that we should get plenty of boar. 
Let's increase the hunting zone to this whole area. I think this should do. Oh, we can increase, include this part too. Nice. Let's hope that that will bring in enough food. Well, these walls don't cost any resources, so that's the good thing about it. We're not wasting any stone or whatever. These are just totally free. So we'll see. I think we should wall off the keep too, by the way, just to keep um, any unwanted guests out. But for the keep, I think we should use the wooden wall and the gate. So let's just try it. Let's just build it there and then get going with some uh, some walling like this. And I'm not going to finish it yet because the keep will still get bigger. Um, yeah, let's do it a little bit more straight because there should be another tower here for the keep, I guess. Ah, we can't get we can't get on from there, I think. Yeah, that's not working. Ah, now it is. Perfect. Alright, so here we have a little area for the keep. We'll finish it later. Or no, we're going we're just going to make it. We can change it out anyway. Once we need to. Alright, so this is now the area for the keep. So at least they have their own zone and then we can later on uh, change that out or make it smaller or bigger. But at least it looks like a barracks. I guess that's nice. Mission successful. Your soldiers successfully returned with spoils of war. Some kingdom coins and some nice stuff. That's nice. That's nice. And now we can unlock these. Protection taxation. If a military mission is ongoing, taxation accumulation speed is increased by 50%. So we get double the or uh, we get faster stuff. All right, this is good. This is nice too. Cleaning duty. So now we have all of this unlocked. So now we should focus on the clergy. Make sure that we get five clergy rating. Then we can start to unlock all of this too. That should be an easy task once we start working on the monastery. So the monastery could be another thing to build soon. Oh, we're getting there. And of course, always feel free to just jump in and, and tell me the things you like or don't like about what I'm building right now. Because we can always change things up, of course. Ah, they're building another house here. Is this working out now? Well, at least a little bit, but not too much for the berries. I think I did not tell them to use this as a berries point. All right, this is better. Now they don't have to walk all the way very far to get some berries. A little mistake there. Every now and then that happens. Always make sure that you get the right zones up. Sometimes I forget. And apparently nobody else noticed too, but that's fine, of course. What do we have here? Some stone. Right, we have to keep here. On the hill is not a good spot, but should we build the monastery down here in this whole area so that we can get... We have plenty of space here for all the things that we need with the monastery, the herb gardens and stuff like that. So should we do it right there? I think so, but um, uh, just let me know. Just mingle in. Forager, yeah, this is all working nicely. We should probably adjust a few of the zones. Yes. So let's get rid of all this zoning because we don't need it anymore. It's just confusing. And I think we can expand the residential zone here a bit. Uh, no, this is where the tavern is going to be. So we can expand it this way, but that's about it. How long before you can promote soldiers? Well, that depends on um, what they're doing. So right now, if you go check my soldiers, we can see that one of them is wounded. 
some of them got up to level 1, but that's about it. And I believe they need to be either level 4 or level 5. And then we can uh, promote them. So right now we just need to keep sending them on missions so that they get experience. And you can see some do get experience, others don't. So there's no guarantees. Once they get experience, for every experience point, they will get two strength. So they'll get really get better. Um, and then at a certain point, once they are experienced enough, we can promote them. But right now that's that's not really going to happen anytime soon. So we'll have to see uh, once we can. And the um, healing process usually takes very long. So it could well be that soon we start to send them all out again without this one. And we'll just send out nine. Of course, if there is a suitable mission for them. A newcomer is requesting an audience. You are welcome. Six newcomers now. We don't have jobs for them. So we should probably fix that. I'm actually thinking that we can use these hills for farming too. We have all the houses down here. There's still more space here for some housing. Ah, these now have a very negative effect too. That wasn't there before, I think. Or maybe just a little bit, but that's okay. Um, or we could just move this industry... Same with the wood industry. We could move it this way. So that this space comes available for housing. That might actually be a good option. To just move that industry. It's a bit costly but it's fine. We have the time for it. I think that's what we're going to do. Move this out of the way. So this can all be housing. And all the industry and stuff can be right there. So let's start setting that up the way we want it to. One of the things I want is a reforestation area where they reforest and we can use that all the time for trees, which should be right here. Then we build the um, lumber camp close to it. We'll need two of those. Yes, let's build them. Is this good with the zoning? Not entirely. So let's set the zoning up like this then. Okay, we'll get the extraction out of this area so that the trees will grow first. Then, of course, we need sawmills to go along with this. And we need two of those to actually get plenty of planks. So let's build two of those. Uh, along with that goes a forester camp, of course, to, to just make that new forest. Yep, let's build it. And then we need a big warehouse to store all the wood in. Uh, which could also just go here. And then we have a complete wood area here now. And we can get rid of this one with all the negative effects for this area. Right now we only have one sawmill. So we also provide a few extra jobs. What we can tell them to do is remove this reforestation area. And extract these trees so they can have a very productive short while. And then we'll move them over. And then we'll do the same with the sheep, I guess. They can walk on these slopes. So we can do the sheep industry here too. Then we can build the monastery in this area. I think that's that's the way we're going to go right now. If everybody agrees, of course. If not, just tell me. A lumber camp built, so that's very fast. I'm not going to move those lumber camps over soon. Uh... We'll get this guy out soon though. Put him in the other one once it's done. It's taking some time. Ah, getting a, another house here now. Interesting, another villager. Well, they do take good control over this area, the builders. They really start to build straight away. So that should get everything up soon. Newcomers requesting an audience. You are welcome. Uh, I guess we should start to uh, make sure that this gets all emptied out. And once this one is done, we can make sure that it gets in here. Okay. It's always a bit of a issue to get all these areas cleared out, but... Um, Let's just take our time until everything is done. And then we can just delete those buildings and move all the workers to the other ones. 
but they should do that automatically i believe two lumber camps built that's good i guess we can also get rid of this one so let's just delete it and then we should see people getting to either one of these yeah there's already two in here now so they immediately switched there's one more that'll switch so that should work I guess they should really build the uh, forester camp now. Oh well, this is going to work out. Just take our time. Let's take a look at the other part of town. Well, this is also taking shape. More and more houses are here now. We can see that there's some good stuff in the market. This granary has some goods, but not too many. We do have 10 boar now. Also just 10 meat. So apparently this one can't really keep up. Oh, the granary that uses everything is too far away. Yeah, it's right here with the meat. Fountain sculpture masterpiece. Your skillful management of food during the bad weather has inspired some of your villagers. And they wish to build a fountain to honor the occasion all right we're not going to do that yet but that could be interesting yeah it is a bit deceptive um i thought we didn't have that much space on it but actually we do so that's really interesting all right we can now set this one up for uh wood planks planks and tools because we do need a place for the tools to be otherwise we can't trade with them um let's get two people out of here all right they should empty it first then we just get rid of it because they can move it to this one and once it's empty we can destroy it and then they will go to this one anyway very good this one is done so we can get rid of this one let's pulse production here let's hope they empty it out quickly and then they can go to that one soon takes a bit of time but it should work although dodin can also just go out here and once he's out we can add him to this one yeah this guy Toad in. There he goes. He's finishing up his other work. But that should be fine. And we'll do the same with Fradegundia. Can we add Fradegundia? Yes. She can see that she's level 5 now. So that's good. They can now take the goods from this one. Bring them into this one. That's probably the best. And they can collect these. And empty it out. Newcomers request an audience. We already have 7 unemployed people. But we'll take them in anyway. It's okay. It's okay. Changing out all the production is always a bit hard. Ah, this one is ready. So we can get rid of this one. Bye bye. Destroy. Then the forager should go here. Let's keep it open so we can see if he actually goes. And then he can start to plant the trees. Yep, there he is already. Perfect. All right. So this one is completely empty now precisely what we want so let's destroy it bye bye that's gone and everything is in here so that's good this one is not emptied out yet but hopefully they will start to collect those resources soon and put them in here and then we can get rid of that one too we can already fill up one other because we have two now so that's one extra and all the trees are gone here so let's get rid of this one destroy Let's destroy this one too. But I think we don't have. We have not built an extra one for that. We have removed three of those. And we just built one extra. So let's build this one right here. So they can go to work there. Will you have jobs for the new people? I think so. Because I want to up the clothing production as well. So um, we only have two sheep herders for instance. And one weaver, one tailor. And I also want to get a weaver and tailor in this part of town. Along with a, a warehouse to store goods and stuff. So I will be building four sheep zones, I guess. 
luckily the better days arrived so that's good um let's keep a little focus on this i don't think they're going to clear this out so we'll just destroy it anyway i don't care let's go oh we can immediately see new houses being built there a merchant is requesting an audience the elders are looking to repair a few bridges across the region one of the merchants notices your woodcutter and they want a lot of wood uh, very tempting but I don't think I want to lose the wood right now but of course I leave it up to you guys should we do that and get some money that we don't have space for because we already have plenty of money should we discuss a better deal which is probably not going to work or should we not be interested we have no use for the uh, coinage yet so that ain't gonna work ah Kevin wants to take a gamble and discuss a better deal although Ah, small chance it'll work. Roadhog too. Oh, that's interesting. Well, then we'll go for the better deal. And we lost. Okay. The negotiation failed. The merchant is now offering you a lesser deal than the one originally proposed. So should we do that and we can get less money for it? Or should we just say, oh, well, next time and save the wood for ourselves? Yeah, let's keep everything for ourselves. Very good. Thanks, guys. Let's see. We can't unlock anything here because we need to expand the clergy. Okay. Well, this is done. Let's see now where we ended up with the uh, industry or with the housing. Let's get rid of this. And let's start making sure that they can expand the residential zone here. That should be nice. And now we need to start moving this industry too. So let's go to sheep farms. Now we can already see the red zone. Luckily the sheep don't need a lot of space. So we can just do it like this. One, two, three, and four. Yes. We can build one warehouse with it. Place it close to the other one. That's fine. And that should provide us the extra sheep. Then. What did we unlock? Oh, the fountain sculpture. That's okay. Then we can build a weaver and tailor in this part of town. Which should be interesting. Oh, we just need one. We don't need two. And a tailor. Yes. Okay, build. Another lumber camp is done. I think the people should go in here automatically. Yeah, because we still have a few lumberjacks available. And this should help us to grow our little um, amount of clothing that we can also sell. So that's good. Another newcomer. Uh, just one because, well, we have a bit of unemployment. So they're not all too eager to come. Plenty of houses to be built too. I think we're also going to need another builder's office simply because we're going to build a monastery and stuff on this SARS part of the island too. So we need extra builders here. So let's just build it and add three builders. That also helps to keep people employed. Well, things look quite okay, I think. Uh, how are the zones here? Yeah, like this. Okay. That should work out. Now we also need some sort of a storage in this area for the clothing. So we need to build a warehouse that is out of the way of the main part of town. But we can actually store some good stuff in here. Now a lot of goods have to come from this area. So I think we should just place it somewhere here. So it's out of the way for the town. But it's not too far away for these market people to get their goods there. And for um, the other one. So we'll place it right here. I think that should be good. Ah, they're building these. Nice, nice, nice. Lots of housing being built. 
And then soon it will be time for a monastery. It's also time to send out our soldiers. We still have one wounded, but all the others are fully trained. So uh, let's send them out on a mission. An easy mission, an average mission, or an easy mission. I think we should go for an easy mission. Protect middle. All right, let's prepare the troops. We'll send out everyone except our wounded guy. Mission success is extreme. Perfect. Let's send the troops. There we are on our way. Nice time layout. If I didn't know better, I would think you play a lot of city builders using all your extensive knowledge. <laughs> no, I never played a city builder before. For Usually I play uh, mixed martial arts games and shooters. But uh, first time playing this. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I play a city builder every now and then. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. Always so much fun in chat. It's amazing. Well, let's see how our soldiers do. I hope they do a good job. As our lumberjacks are doing a good job clearing out all the trees here. Oops. Ah, the warehouse is done. That gives us the opportunity to... Uh, get rid of all the stuff in here. So let's tell them to empty the stock. One wool. One cloth. And the rest should be clothing. Yes, there we go. Um... This is one, this is two. I like this, by the way, because this really helps. We can get Kunat and Adeline out. And then we can get them in here. If I click, yeah, Kunat and Adeline. Where's Adeline? She should be unemployed now. Or did she not go? Yeah, she's still wrapping up. Okay. Oh, we can also click them from right here. There she is, Adeline. Let's kick her in. Okay. Oh, we don't even have to do it like that again. We can just look here. We have Nicolotto and Reinbout. Let's look for Nicolotto. There she is, and Reinbout. Where is he? Ah, there he is. All right, so this one should empty out now. And they should all go to this one. And once this one is empty, we can clear it out. But do you find knowledge in the mechanics of other games transfer easily to other games? Ooh, that's that's a hard one because, um, of course, so, some games do look alike. So yes, yeah, sometimes uh, some of the basics are the same. And once you find it out, it's pretty easy because then you know how things work. But it can also sit in the way because you think oh it's probably just going to work like this or like that and then it appears to be different so um most of the time i really try to just be open and um make sure that i just read the tutorial and, and really find out and just play a game quite often so i exactly know what the game is all about um So I, I really get to understand the game. If you just copy paste, oh, another city builder I had worked like this. So this is probably going to work the same. Then I think you're prone to make a lot of mistakes. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think that should be fine. Uh, so yeah, I'm not really copy pasting information or something like that, I guess. Um, but yeah, of course, if I... Um, have the idea that ah this works like that that's the same then of course i will use it um it's it's like games like banished patron ostrif um you have to place the housing yourself yeah that's that's the same in all the games things that could be different is the the range that you have towards different buildings you have to build it close or not or so those are little differences that there are but uh, most of the time there aren't a lot of differences uh, in terms of you have to just place the house 
It's more that you need to find the right production chains, for instance. So here we have to get wool first, you have to turn it into cloth, and then you make clothing. And in a game like Ostriv, uh, you have to get the wool, but you also have to get the tanner, and you have to get the clothing shop, and the weaver, and um, it just works a bit different. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not really into the... Um, how do you say that? I think it's best to just keep an open mind for the new game you're trying to learn. And then sometimes you find out, ah, that works the same as in that game. But don't presume it does, because then you get different things in your head that won't work with the game. For me, it works really well if I just really try to learn a new game. That I just experience it and put that into my brain. And then the next time I play the game, that immediately pops up in my brain. And if I switch to Ostriv now, then the Ostriv production chains immediately pop up into my brain because I've let them come in from the game, not assuming that they should be in a certain order or a certain way, because then you can make mistakes and it doesn't get in your head straight. Uh, but that's how it works for me. Maybe for other people that works differently, but... Um, that's also why usually I, when I get a new game, uh, I have a lot of restarts in the beginning, especially with City Builders, because I learn new things from the game and I want to bring them into practice and see if it works. And sometimes they work. And then you get to a new point and you think, ah, I want to change that up too. So you change that up. Um, we don't have bread, so we refuse to help right now, by the way. Um, so that's basically how it works for me. But maybe for other people that works different. And when when I try to learn a new game, it usually works for me because I can remember all those things uh, as long as there's not too much in the game. That's one of the hard things for me with a game like Workers and Resources. Um, because I don't write a lot of things down, I just keep it in my memory. But Workers and Resources is so detailed and so micromanaging that it just doesn't fit in my head all the time. And because I also play a lot of different games all the time, I don't take the time to actually completely learn it. And sometimes it's also hard when they change the game mechanics. So uh, the whole estate stuff is new, of course, in Foundation since about six months, I guess. Before that, it wasn't in the game. And it took me quite some time to actually learn that new mechanic. Uh, because before it wasn't in and I did not have to play like that. And then of course it changed. So in my brain it was still the old way. And it was actually quite tough to, to get that out and learn the new way. But if you spend time on it, it'll work. So no problem. But uh, yeah, it can take some time to actually get the new stuff in then. And especially with games like this, like Foundation, you start off and you build a small village and then you think, oh, I should have placed this differently and I should not put the, uh, I should put the weaver just in town and I should get the sheep out of town because they have a negative influence and the weaver doesn't. And then you start over again and then you get to bread and then you experience the same or something different and then you start over again. So with a game like this, I might end up do like 10 or maybe even 20 restarts before I'm actually getting near the end of the game or having everything build up because there's always things I learned that I want to bring to practice then again. So I think I've already had this game for like two months or something like that before I got to a point where I really had a big monastery and a big church and a big town with like 600 people because usually I would just start over already and bring into practice the things that I've learned. All right, this is all going well. The trees are planted. They're still having quite a bit of forest to chop so that we can build the monastery here, but we'll just let them keep going. This is very good. We now have a bigger production of wool and in the end cloth and clothing. So that should work out. This area should now be no more red. True. So they can build houses here too. 
Now we can of course build, still build the tavern here. But we could also get this area for a tavern. So the um, desirability of this area goes up too. That could also be an option. Have to think about it, but it could well be an option. All right, let's get two people into the weaver's hut, but we need to promote them. Otherwise, uh, they can't get in. But now they are weavers. Very good. There they go. Plenty of boar now. It's just that the um, butcher can't keep up. So I guess we need an extra butcher. So let's get an extra butcher. Build. And I will build a granary here. We'll just put one person in, I guess, or maybe two. Um, to collect the boar so that they don't have to get the boar from this themselves so that they can be more efficient at work in the butcher's office. I think that should be good too. But this whole area is working precisely as intended. That's nice. Getting a little second part of town. And I also think it's time to start getting a zone here, building a bridge so that we can start to farm and get beer and things like that. <laughs> yeah, I usually don't bulldoze, then I just restart. <laughs> I'm more of a restart and not a bulldozer. Ooh, the upkeep increase is 40 coins if we buy an extra zone again now. Well, still going to do it. And we're going to plan a bridge already. So that we are prepared. Uh, there we go. All the way to here. 105 planks. Well, we have plenty of planks, so no issue there. And then we'll have the bridge to get some farming. That should bring in plenty of options for new stuff. Okay, this is all good. This is zero, 0, That's nice. Still a plus with the kingdom, but we'll, we'll just get building with the monastery and then we should get a little plus with the... Uh, clergy ah they're building a tier 2 house there very interesting well this part of town ain't that bad ah another house new villagers incoming do we have jobs for them I hope so uh, two jobs okay Oh, and another granary and a butchery. So yeah, we have jobs for them. Just wondering whether they are going to build the bridge already. Ah, they're bringing the planks and stuff in. Very good. Let's get building. Here come the new villagers. They come in just as the butcher is built. So, yep, you can get a job there. Two extra transporters. That's fine. Everybody has a job. 136 people. We actually grew quite a bit. I wasn't expecting to grow this fast. Usually it go, goes a little bit slower, but um, oh, it's fine. Plenty of berries. Totally stocked up on berries now. Meat and fish. I think we should get some extra fish in this one. We don't have that much meat anyway. And we can put the meat in this one once it's done. So that's okay. Maybe we should remove a few pieces soon to just get extra fisheries. But for now, we're fine with the fish. Really, it's time to get going with the monastery. So maybe we should just start to plan it and get the first pieces up. That's the church. Uh, did we unlock the monastery? Yes, we did. All right. Um, right. Let's start off by the coastline, I guess. Guess no, not completely, because 
Um, let me think. If we build it by the coastline, we can use this space for all the herbs and the berries and stuff like that. So yeah, we're going to start close to the coastline. Um, I think we need to start with monk dorms and nun dorms so that we can have people actually living there. Uh, room size 10. So 10 people should be able to sleep there. I think if we start off with 10 monks and 10 nuns, that should be okay. Um, so yeah, let's just build one piece here. I guess it will need a door. And that's it. It's perfect. And then we can immediately expand it. We have to click away and then click again and then select the nun dorms. Then we can put this next to it. Does this now also need a door? No, because there already is a door, but we'll give them their own separate door. I think that's nice. Then we'll also have the nun dorm. So we have the start of the monastery. And that should also help clear a few trees here. So I guess that will be something good. At least I hope. <laughs> Can never be sure, of course. Perfect. Oh well. Um, just for you guys, so you know, I just got a message from uh, wifey a little while ago. She's on her way back from work in the car, but she's listening to us, or at least to me. So I don't think if you type anything in chat, she can read it because she's driving the car. But of course, I can read it out for her, but she's with us. So that's really nice. I hope work was fun and uh, I'll see you soon when you get home. Of course, streaming is a lot of fun, as always. <laughs> ah, Kimberly says, hello, wifey. And I immediately get a text message, so I guess she can hear me now. <laughs> yeah, now everybody starts saying hello, and now I have to be the messenger all the time, reading out all the messages. So, hello from Kevin to wifey. <laughs> Interesting. All right, let's put a few workers in here. Now I have to keep an eye on my phone too, because now, of course, I'll get a lot of messages in there too. Uh, let's get the boar in here first, and then some meat to share. Perfect. Well, luckily, it has been 10 p.m., so it's time for me to uh, stop streaming so I don't have to convey all these messages. Ah, I get hi, Kim. Hi, Kevin. Back from... Uh, from wifey so that's nice but uh, that's going to be it for me uh, sharing all the messages because well it's time to put this stream to an end we have a lot more stuff coming up this week so that should be interesting and uh, well we have to save some fun of building this town for the next episode i think we did quite a bit today so thank you all very much for being here Thanks for uh, giving me such a good time. Thanks, Adam, for the support and becoming a member of the channel. That's highly appreciated. But of course, I appreciate everyone, all those people just lurking around, talking in chat and engaging in conversation. It's so nice. So good night and good evening, everybody. Have a great sleep. Uh, have a great rest of the week. I hope to see you on Friday as we continue with this or with Ostriff. I'm not sure yet. I think I should... Uh, switch a bit so maybe we'll just continue our Ostrift town but we'll find out and um i wish you guys all the best and girls i hope uh, you take good care of yourself and then we'll see you all next time hopefully in good health thanks so much bye bye